I'm going to narrate and I'm going to ask James to do the rotations uh, with the patty paper. So we're going to start off with rotating point A 90 degrees clockwise around point B using the patty paper. And point A is at 4, 6. The center of rotation is point B, which is 3, 1. James is doing that rotation of 90 degrees with the patty paper. And we can see that point A ends up, or A prime, ends up at 8, 0. Okay, so now we're going to start with, or use the method that is used in the Unit 5 frameworks, in that we're going to translate, rotate, translate is how we can phrase that. So we're first of all going to start with translating the point of rotation to the origin. So he's going to label as A prime there. He's going to take point B and translate it to the origin. Okay. He's now going to rotate about the origin 90 degrees clockwise. And he's done that and now he's going to translate point B back to its original location of 3, 1. And he can now show that A prime ends up where we saw it with the original rotation of at 8, 0. Okay? So now we're going to check this alternative method. Um, and we can kind of call this a rotate translate. Um, so we're going to start off with this method. We're going to label both our point A prime 4, 6, and we have B, which we're rotating around, and we're going to rotate both point A and the center rotation, point B, 90 degrees clockwise about the origin. So we're rotating both the points, and now we're going to translate point B back to its original location, up at 3, 1. And as you can see, this also shows that this is a valid method to do this rotation of a point around another point that is not at the origin. It ends up at 8-0 as well.